name is Jerry Brown. And I'm Matt Edwards. And we're from Music Makers Kits Incorporated in Stillwater, Minnesota. And we're here to tell you about a new musical instrument that we've designed and invented. And it's called the Reverie Harp. And this is a type of a psaltery, as in psalms. It's a plucked instrument and strum or strummed instrument. And it's a rather unique instrument, uh, so we decided we needed to uh, produce a video to explain how it's used and uh, how it's designed and so forth. So I'm going to have uh, Matt explain to you how he came up with this design. Sure. Thanks, Jerry. Um... For several years, I've hoped that music makers could design and develop uh, an instrument specifically for music therapy, but I never really knew what I wanted that instrument to be or what it would look like or even sound like. Um, and then one day I was having a conversation with our good friend Peter Roberts, who is a practicing music thanatologist in Australia. Uh, Peter is uh, also a music maker's dealer in Australia. He does uh, build and sell our instruments as well as play the harp. Uh, and Peter is truly very gifted at what he does in, in bringing calm and healing at end-of-life uh, care. So when I told Peter that music makers was, would like to come up with an instrument for music therapy, Peter was very excited because he's been wanting uh, music makers to do that as well. Um, but Peter had some wonderful ideas about what this instrument should be and he started to explain that he was looking for an instrument that the patient could use. In other words, something you could put in bed with the patient and that was a real eye-opener for, for me and for Jerry. Um, yeah, it really was. Uh, usually you think of music therapists as being uh, the ones who do all the music and then the patient as being uh, kind of the recipient. Right, so to have Peter put that into words and say, let's come up with something that the patient can use and then become a part of the music making rather than just a passive uh, listener to somebody else making music. So that was very exciting uh, and it really got some wheels turning. And, and so with that main goal in mind, Peter also wanted an instrument that was very comfortable to hold, uh, nice smooth shape, round corners, nothing jagged sticking out, something uh, that would just be real easy for a patient to, to either hold in their lap, against their chest, or even just set in the bed with the patient. Um, and Peter also wanted an instrument that not only looked appealing and inviting um, and beautiful, but something that obviously sounded very nice and beyond sounding nice, something that that you could actually hold and feel so the patient can actually feel the vibrations as, as the instrument sings. Um, and so with those kind of parameters um, as a guide, it was fun to just start sketching out some ideas and, and, and then ripping them up and throwing them away and sketching out another and, uh, until finally this egg shape appeared. And it was unique and interesting because uh, it was visually appealing, but it also placed the longest notes or the lowest notes in the center of the instrument, which is something you don't see in any other instrument. Uh, so the lowest notes are in the middle, and as you go towards either side of the instrument, uh, the notes uh, get higher in pitch. So once the egg, this egg shape was settled on and, and people seemed to like this shape, it was a matter of putting on different strings and, and trying to come up with different tunings. Again, here Peter was really invaluable in his suggestions for uh, tunings that might invoke this mood or, or that mood or would be healing or soothing. So, um, actually we have here the, the very first one <laughs> that I made here, it's, it's, uh, you can see that there's quite a difference here if you want to hold that one up. So after this was settled on and, and everything was settled, it was time to really turn it over to Jerry and, and Gary, our shop foreman, to really kind of work out the details and you can see what a dramatic difference um, there is. Uh, you know, the basic idea and shape is still there. but. There's just so many ingenious little things that Gary and Jerry have come up with to really make this instrument um, very special. 
And Gary Brand is our shop foreman, and he's a trained cabinet maker. He's been with us since 1989, and he can. He can make anything, he can fix anything. He's exactly. an amazing guy. Yeah. And he's the one who helps us uh, figure out what kind of joinery to use, make the jigs uh, so that we can repeat the process over and over. Well, we want to thank you for watching this uh, video.